Hey, what's going on everyone? So Premium Kami here. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about our newly built project, New Gundam XWS version over here. So this is, uh, I don't know what's the art box for this as of yet. I'm pretty sure this one is actually the high grade model kit version of it. So I think, let me see if I can actually take, take a look at the details to see if that is the case. Uh, because the original high grade, high new, not no, the new x as doesn't really have that good kind of quality yeah i think this is actually the high glory one to be honest so um so let's start with some um some horror spendings over here so there's some calculations already you're going to be needing approximately uh 77 uh, material in all combination um well it's 70 to get the whole unit and then seven just to grab enough l bash your way to alter this guy so in total, you are hard spending. You are looking at about one hundred fifteen thousand five hundred. Yeah, uh, that's quite a big number over here. Yeah, because we have seven parts over here, that's why it's a little bit more. And then in terms of uh, how we can get it, uh, I don't actually like how they reverted back to this kind of this kind of format over here. These one over here. So you need to collect five material per. Uh, that specific week so right now we're at week or material a week right now so that's why i want to do this right now just to give you guys a brief idea of like what you can expect from this guy over here so no ranking as of this one right now because a you cannot really get the whole suit yet and b i'm pretty sure by the end of the four weeks i think there should be better units so i think at the four weeks i will redo i will do another revisit just to talk about what kind of stat we are looking at over here and then i'm not doing a stat for this one purely because of the fact that a uh, we we cannot get those whole suit yet. B this one is more of a defensive type or a really tanking high armor ish type unit. So giving this guy a ranking uh, as purely for the offensive is not gonna do this guy justice or it's not really gonna um, justify of what this unit is really built for. So uh, let's do a start off the head over here. Um, the head is gonna need a five material B and a five material D. So this one. You won't be able to get it until the last week obviously so in terms of the head over here uh first thing you're gonna notice is that really really high armor over here coming in at 6,463 uh, um so this one if you guys have probably have taken a look at it already this one is more of a, like a armor base high armor ish a defensive type unit so this one uh, i'm pretty sure by the end of this four weeks they will drop a arena mode that is specific to like an armor like um, armor mode so um, the higher armor you have the more uh, the higher high, high armor will translate to some good uh, what is it, assessment points so you can win that arena no problem uh, in terms of the head over here uh, currently right now we're looking at 10,933 which is not a bad number actually this actually just topped it over the Kasai the Kasai Gundam the Strike Freedom and then even this week's um well it depending on when you're watching this but right now uh the the cross bone get them out yeah it tops out as well so those are pretty good head already in terms of the portrait over here these this one is actually one of the newer one we have seen uh that have a head head part that have a uh initial charge boost by 20 percent over here so this is pretty good uh if any of your other parts cannot compensate for that uh icd this one will take the kick over here uh, this one does have to be a T build, so they're continuing the trend. Uh, the last build project was coincidentally another T shot build over here, so not 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 surprisingly, they they do another one because the last uh, shot base uh, build project, the uh, straight no name, uh, the head does not actually give you a good portrait while this one does. So I guess they want to lump them two together. Uh, in terms of this one, the first portrait with attacking with beam shooting power boost by thirty percent, so pretty generic over here. Uh, but the tag over here, you are looking at heavy armor and Gundam type over here. So, um, heavy armor actually does give you five percent of shot attack, and then this one actually is a pretty sneaky good option for a shot build base uh, because you do get a five percent defense and five percent shot shot attack. Um, so this one can be a pretty good viable option. So your third war tag should be. Um, you, you're gonna have to put an ace exclusive because this one initially these two gundam type and um heavy armor over here 
yeah because gundam tie actually raises armor as well five percent armor so this one is going to be a really really tank out unit at the end of the day so in terms of the tag you're looking at heavy armor and gundam type again so this one is actually similar to the new gundam hws version ka uh i think that one also has that no that one is not version ka right that one is uh let me i'm trying to think i'm thinking right now i don't think that one is that one is version ka right uh i'm, I'm kind of having a brain for at the moment I'm, I'm trying to think of the one we just had because we did have one uh, uh with a new brand new alteration like a few months ago that one also had high uh heavy armor as well but whatever uh skipping over that uh this one has the same uh functionality ex skill as the other one we have seen uh the version car of it this one i think this one have a better tracking or this one actually tracks your enemy so this one may be a better one than the older version of it uh in terms of the armor this one is coming at 7k but if you take a look well even what even the shot attack is over almost a 6k are you kidding me what are they doing here so this one a ridiculous armor over here and b you have good shot attack like what uh but this one again you are locked behind at ex skill over here so you can't really run it uh normally and unless you sub slide it to a good portrait um this one you can sub into a good side chest no problem because i think both of them share gundam type as a trait or attack excuse me if i recall so this one may be a good option uh this one's just pretty good you can just sub slide this to any um what you might call it any chests that have Gundam type, and then you should be no, uh, good to go. So, uh, actually, pretty good chest over here. Uh, I don't know if you want to use this one purely for the EX skill over here. Maybe some do, maybe some do not. So, uh, pretty good overall, anyway. All right, moving on to the arm. Continue with that high armor trend over here. 6k, 6, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, in terms of the shot attack, not too shabby, to be honest. Uh, this one does come in at 5,300 which is around the same caliber of um the new gundam version car yeah we we have tons of new gundam high new gundam in this game so um don't just try not to get get the mix up with the actual model case name because they do go by that this one is just a standalone high new gundam or no new gundam actually yes version i think it would have been better if they list out like the actual um the scaling so it wouldn't be too mixed up if there's too many units of the same name uh, let's take a look at the portrait over here. I am disappointed already because that can portrait is a shooting crit up by 40%, which is not ideal. And then you are also locked under a uh, mid shooter job, which is two restriction over here or one restriction. I mean, actually two restriction because this one you have to use it on T built again. Um, like why? Why? I don't know why they made build project so restrictive, like heavily focused on one tr one um, typing. If this was along the line of like using a specific tag, I mean, that's a little bit more viable, right? But this one locking under T builds is kind of just, um, just not good. Um, so, but this one is continuing to trend again. The same tags over here. Uh, just along having a uh, shooting crit over here is just not good. But I mean, then again, you can kind of just sub slot something to kind of get that replaced. But yeah, this is just not a good investment in, in my opinion. Uh, I mean the shot attack is pretty good for the first three parts like the head, chest and arm, a sort of leg and then leg and backpack. I don't think they're the most impressive in terms of stat, but they'll take a look. Ooh, okay, I, I like them doing that. So this is the first, no, I don't think this is the first leg pieces that have a, uh, no, no, no. This is, I don't think this is the first time a T builds actually have a, uh, EX skill reduction over here because if you guys have known the trend, uh, P type usually have the most uh, EX skill or portrait that will say along the line EX skill CD reduced by such and such percentage. Uh, P build by far have the most. I think T builds and S build does not have that much. So, uh, having this as a good collection, just on, on um, trying, to, trying to have this on the T build is actually pretty good. Um, I think the, the other build project, the build project for Saga Chess Breaker. Also have this as the part trace, so I'm um, not something new here actually then. Um, but for but this one is actually better than the Versago Chest Breaker because the Versago Chest Breaker have have um, the CD reduction as the second part trace, 
which does not benefit too much because the second portrait always have the higher percentage boosting always comes in at 35 uh, regardless so this one is actually a better better uh, benefit overall having this that extra five percent uh can make can, can make a big difference uh this one while you are using ace exclusive which should be you should be 100 percent of the time if you guys are doing like a shot build because that's a 10 percent buff to shot attack so this one is actually a good piece of leg over here not too bad this is yeah not too bad for utility wise i would say uh in terms of the backpack the backpack is probably one of the most gimmicky one i have seen so this one is actually a ex skill shot this is not like a buff awakening or what whatsoever this is the fin funnel berry over here if you guys have known the uh, the new gundam is famous for having that triangular or the pyramid type shield that blocks any beam uh that's not block physical but this one does not actually stay uh this one is actually say deploy fin funnel um try a pyramid barrier to nullify damage from long range attacks you can move while in active while it, it that it, this is active so this one does not clarify whether or not physical damage can kind of break through it because in any game like in a sdg you are 100% nullified beam uh, beam attacks but you are not nullified from any physical so uh, once i get this i think i'll actually test it out and then i will actually like to test out how long of a duration this is uh, I think another, uh, beside this one, we have the Cherubim Lake. I didn't actually know the Cherubim Lake um, acts as a shield barrier. I just kind of find out when, like, in the Discord, that they're talking about um, the Fin Funnel Barrier over here. I didn't actually know. I think that one maybe is uh, pretty good as well. Uh, because, like, uh, the Cherubim GN shield bits uh, hovers around. I think, no, it's... Um, the heart actually controls it, and it, it, it just actually blocks any attack in any direction right so I, but in this game i, I don't think uh, the ai is the smartest to horror so i don't know how good is the blocking for that one because i have never actually tried out so uh, my part my bad on that part because i'm not too knowledgeable on that so uh, but i think this one blocking all like every direction is should be a little bit better right all right moving on to the rifle over here so this time around they actually give this a long rifle typing or category uh, we have this already but we have it as the beam rifle the rifle category so there are two differences over there um so this one will be a better bet or a better um for a long shooter a long shooter pilot instead of a mid shooter in a way um but i don't know why they put this one like one of the effects over here i think for the arm right is it for the arm yeah i think for the arm this one is meant to be a mid shooter yeah mid shooter job so i don't know why i i have no idea why uh i guess they don't want it to have a good competition over there but in terms of the stat you are breaking that 12k over here so which is actually pretty good um heavy armor and ace is exclusive that's okay i guess this one you are going to have to be stuck on that um heavy armor over here but uh in terms of the part tray over here this is the excellent double uh ace skill buffing over here not too bad but you are locked behind that um heavy armor so if you cannot run that heavy armor, this may not be the best um, pickup for you. And then this one is also locked behind a torso part, so any of your other parts you will not benefit from it. I would say torsos is one of the more limited, um, yeah, I would say a limited choices to have a good EX skill. Um, mainly, they don't really hold the best uh, EX skill in terms of, uh, um, so I don't know. I don't know if this one's gonna be too valuable or wrong. I think if this was on the back, but the back does not really, you don't really need EX skill power boosting. So um, this is a pretty weird choice, but I guess they gotta do what they gotta do, right? Um, so I think this one is probably not, I mean, I don't know. I don't think this one is gonna be too viable because uh, with these setup over here to EX skill buffing, you can um, statistically or Trade wise, you can put this on a melee build, but in terms of the tag, you cannot really justify for that. So I don't, I don't know. This one is more on the weird, weird scenario over here. But nonetheless, it's still a pretty good rifle. Nonetheless, uh, good stats overall. All right, moving on to the shield over here. Continue, yeah. Six K, six K armor. Yeah, I have not been keeping track of the other few um, pieces in terms of armor. Uh, I think I'll go back to it. Uh, in terms of the stat, uh, 4500 is not too bad. I think it's more on the average side nowadays. More on the high, higher end. 
high high end tier over there. So not not too bad, not too bad. Um, but we have another one of these the EX skill over here, high caliber magnet particle cannon. I would say this is not a good EX skill overall because in my uh, from my experiences, this one actually misses a lot more than uh, some of your beam EX skill over here. So this one, I don't know. But uh, for the armor and for the just for the armor, I think people might all trade it just to get prepared uh, for that armor mode. Uh, arena just for that one week right they would i i did the same thing for the beam for the beam resistant arena i um fully red marketed my uh akoski which is not the best source in there because that arena only lasts for a week so yeah that's kind of my bad my part um same board tag again um heavy armor and gundam type so overall in the first uh inside of this over here this is more purely for uh, heavy armor ish yeah quote unquote right really high armor so this is more for like a tanking unit wise uh i would say some of the portrait doesn't really give doesn't really justify for it like the arm i think the arm is probably one of the one i would skip out on it i think the other one is pretty good the rifle one is ah uh, i don't know like this one just kind of throws me off typing that torso just getting that buff um so i don't know like to be honest i think the head is pretty the head is probably one of the better one you want to get just because you do have this uh, ESQ charge which is not too common I would say. So the backpack is more of a fun gimmicky uh, setup over here. I think I will get it. But I would say you guys can skip this one to be honest because this is not the high stacking one to be honest. I think in the next four weeks we should be getting something that's even more higher in terms of stacking. So. Um, but I just want to do this right now so you guys can have a better idea whether or not you want to summon for um, those specific ones like to get the material because right now we are halfway through material 8 uh, right here. So if you guys don't summon right now, you are going to have to summon on this banner over here. Uh, right now we are, we do have three banners or so four banners. So these three, now every, uh, basically all these banners over here, these two up here, these two and then the reprint give you the material 8. If you don't summon this week, you're gonna have to summon on uh, this little banner over here, which does give you the material A. This one will carry throughout until the fourth week, uh, then it will disappear. So this one give you the material A, and then otherwise it's not gonna be the best banner to summon on otherwise. So I think that this will be pretty much it for the review of the high new Gundam over here. Not the high new, just the new Gundam. I will otherwise do another one in terms of the stat wise afterward uh, on the four weeks. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, prerequisite of it or the pre-sequel um, to what we can expect later on. So with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one.